Nairobi has changed forever. Following the recent Gen Z led protest in Nairobi and many other towns in Kenya, the country experienced a revolution and Nairobi was left with sufficient marks and significant transformation that are evident, leaving Nairobi with political graffiti screaming, Ruto must go. Energized by digital platforms, young activists have rallied for change, amplifying their voices on issues that are affecting us as the members of this country. And therefore, I was keen to pick up my siblings and I to go see how this city looks like, how it is buzzing and how the heightened sense of activism reflecting the political shift that can actually be seen. The interesting thing is being able to see how different is the capital city of Nairobi before the protest and after the protest. Stick around as we explore Nairobi CBD, Kenya. Yes, Nairobi has become the entertainment hub where when you land in Nairobi, you're welcomed with dances. And I can't wait to see how entertained we get by the end of our walk. <laughs> Hi guys, so welcome to CBD town. CBD means Central Business District. Coming from church and we decided to come and see how Nairobi CBD looks like on a Sunday and interesting thing is I didn't realize now Nairobi has more people compared to how it used to be some time back I used to recommend people to come to Nairobi CBD to see the city tour and stuff like this in case you're wondering what I was looking at it's this art you know the thing I love about Kenyans is how hard working they are and as you walk in the streets of Nairobi and as I was saying in the previous context is on Sundays was my day of recommending for you to come to see Nairobi CBD because there's less people and all that but apparently now the population has greatly increased and it's just more like a market day like a let's have fun today is our show showcasing all things that we sell and stuff like this as well as some dances but we'll get there so we're just here trying to see if I can secure an ad and be happy from the streets Coming to Nairobi CBD on a Sunday is such a vibe, as you can see. People are selling things and such good offers, like tops at 220, dresses as well. Such a cool idea. Well, Nairobi, you see the offers at 100. Very nice, very nice. Also, the idea when you come here on a later time, I think you'll find more people dancing things like this Sunday in CBD chill talkers in the streets dancing so ever since the president or the government allowed people to film in Nairobi city Everyone, I mean everyone, literally everyone, bought a camera. If you walk on the streets of Nairobi tonight, not tonight, today, plenty of people being like, photo please, photo, you want to take a photo? Which is not the case, always. But I'm happy to see it. There's a lot of Gen Z's in the streets. People are coming. You can see people in dates and hang out. <sighs> Just a little bit more busy than it used to be. The interesting building that you just saw behind me is called Huduma Center. Not that this information is supposed to help you, but well, maybe it should. If you have any governmental issues, you need help and stuff like this. That's where you could. Loving my exploration of Nairobi. So I'm with my sisters, and they keep they keep saying. That it feels like a showground. I know, right? Where everyone is doing business, just chill, calm walking. Yeah.
So behind me is Uhuru Park, which is where we were coming to see, with the goal of being able to see the after effects after the demonstration, because I really wanted to come and see Uhuru Park uh, after the renovations. But I didn't get that chance. Hmm. But unfortunately, according to my perspective, this place could be closed because there are no people inside. It looks very, very empty. So let's get to the entry and hear what they have to say. Yeah, what a fail on, on getting into this park. The last time I came with the purpose of getting in the park for like a just chill moment, it was closed for renovation. And then now I'm here again, they've closed. But I see people inside, just like a few. Like only one bunch of people. Anyway, let's not go ahead. Let's not jump before the drum. So we are at Uhuru Park and sadly, as you can see the green gate is for... As you can see we are at Uhuru Park, the gate. But as you can see the gate, this blue gate is because of some parts that were destroyed unfortunately. So we can't go in. It looks, looks beautiful man. Anyway, sad story. I think my saddest part about this is the plane. It was put. I wanted to come and see it. Now it is burnt. I don't know if you can even see it, but there it is. Sad story. I'm not sure you guys can see but we have a do not forget we cannot forget sign over there if you're kenyan you know what it means we are humbly taking our walk and our l back home back in the cbd everything looks perfectly fine everyone is busy just running their rents but the most interesting part is the overflow of more youths and genders in the streets keeping on with their tiktok shoots let me tell you on sundays this is a whole cinema production place like if you you should come up with a word you know like how there's hollywood nollywood we need one for kenya you know like we need a hood around here but i'm happy to see how much people are putting in effort in their creativity in their execution in the dancing in just being able to show their talents so people are really hustling ah and our celebrity here can you can you tell people where they can find you i'm actually around here in them okay i in them here what street is this? Uh, this is uh, Banda Street. Banda Street. Going up there. Yeah. Uh, in the avenue, that way. I'm always there. If you just around in town, call me. There's something. Also, reach at him on his Instagram at young underscore Nafi. Okay. So, I saw his photos that he did of my sister, and I'm telling you. I'm only hooking him up because they were natural photos. And they look gorgeous. And they look gorgeous. They look I'm going to put gorgeous. like one here yeah. so you can believe me. Anyway, if you're in town and you're looking for someone to take your photos in a random way. On a Sunday. Just alert him. Maybe I'll put his contact in the description box. But yeah, that's what's up currently. Taking a walk. Now that we wouldn't experience a whole park. Look at the dancers. So, he also gets direction. So she's decided to take photos.
so we are going to lunch box for lunch and the thing is it gives a street vibe kind of eating so let's go My sister, say hi guys, finally, you've not said hi on this video. Yeah. Come enjoy the view. If Nairobi as you have lunch. You guys look so good. So, so good. Ah. Here's the menu. It's a really quick kind of menu, but a good, a good chill place. And here goes her shawarma. The thing is, as fast food as it looks, as fast food as it says. Juicy, juicy. You love it? Join me in the rant of you have finished eating <laughs> and our food we has not, not <laughs> arrived. See? Oh, okay, here we go. Pilau beef. Oh, that looks good. And this is chicken, no, beef biryani. Beef biryani looks good. Pilau, and also it looks filling. So I'm done eating. Ah. How do you guys rate the food out of 10? Seven. Seven and a half. For the shawarma, I'd give it an eight, just that the size was small. But this other food, I'd say a seven is good. Yeah, anyway. Let's go to our next event that is exciting. So guys, hang along together with us. We are going to have an amazing evening. This is like a full on day, Sunday typical in Kenya. I don't always do one million errands like today, but most times I try to make Sunday so eventful. Because I grew up knowing Sunday is a family day. And Sunday, you shouldn't just come from church and go back home. So in the spirit of maximizing on Sunday and having quality time with people that matter in your life I'm gonna take you along with our activity and maybe hook you up with things that you can do here in Nairobi yep and all of a sudden town is crowded there's so many people along every street love it for content creators you guys are enjoying okay they are Nairobi has become such a very interesting place such that as you can see everyone is out in the streets creating something and I find this so fascinating as a millennial and seeing what the Gen Z's are doing such a cool thing anyway behind me is one of the famous buildings that we have in Nairobi it's called the National Center Nation Center yeah The pressure is real on people are watching you as you record. Earlier on, in this same clip, I told you I'm taking you to a great place so we can wind down over, you know, as we prepare for the new week. And here we are in Westlands, but I have an interesting video that I don't want to spoil. So therefore, I'm going to end this episode here. And just say, always, always, remember to create time for that which ignites your soul. Until next time, bye. Check out for the new episode loaded.